Hello. Happy Friday and uh, more prayers for humanity. You, your family, your friends, your loved ones. And yes, indeed, put in the chat and I see some already there. Um, any prayer requests for other people, for yourself, for those who you know are going through COVID, which <laughs> I'm still working on a lot of people. Um, I can't wait for there to be a shift, you know, and us to get on the other side. So while we are surrendering to that, uh, let's bring some more love and light and help to move it along a little faster with doing our part. So let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, God, Divine Mother, Divine Father, all the great, great ones, spiritual teachers, spiritual elders, angels, saints, helpers, and guides. Thank you. Thank you for the miraculous, merciful, instantaneous healing, help, wisdom, and guidance. Thank you for the mercy, grace, and ease. Thank you for the inner peace and joy. Thank you for the prosperity and abundance, the faith and hope and trust, the inner strength. Thank you for the goodwill and the willingness to do good. Help us to be the best instruments that we can possibly be while we bless humanity, bless the earth, bless nature, bless our loved ones. Thank you, God, for this opportunity to serve. Amen. Okay, imagine the earth in front of you like a small ball. Put your palms face out and let's bless the earth. Hmm. So let the energy just pour through you out to every person, every being on this planet. And we'll start with the Great Invocation by Holy Master Dwal Kul from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light descend on earth. From the center of the heart of God, let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ and the Great Ones return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the little wills of man, the purpose which the holy masters know and serve. From the center which we call the race of men, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light, love, and power restore the plan on earth. So be it. Hmm. Beloved Lord, pour your light, pour your healing, pour your guidance and wisdom into every person, every being. God, bless them. Bless them with health and vitality, with spiritual health and wellness, mental health and wellness, emotional health and wellness, physical health and wellness, financial health too. Thank you, God, for miraculous, merciful, instantaneous healing. May every cell, every particle of their being be cleansed, be healed, be rebalanced. May every person have a much, much stronger immune system. 
anyone who's sick, sick with a cold, a flu, with COVID, with any kind of physical or psychological ailment, may they be healed. May the heaviness, the dark clouds, the fogginess, the stress and fear and anxiety and that constriction and tension that so many people have been carrying for the last few years, may that be dissolved, disintegrated, transmuted. May it be replaced with a sense of inner peace and calm. Peace and calm. Peace. And more peace. Heal and transmute anything that isn't love into love. God, elevate the consciousness of our planet, of humanity. Help us to have a much stronger spiritual connection to you, Lord. Bless them with spiritual oneness, with the desire to connect and be one with you with a desire and ability to see you, the divinity within every person, every being, in a blade of grass, in the glimpse of a sunset. May we see you in those that we love. May we see you, Lord and those that we don't like and haven't yet learned to love. May we even see you in those we completely disagree with. Help us to see and know and feel you all around us. and bring about that peace and love, wisdom and understanding. May every person, every being be blessed with good will and the willingness to do good. Blessings of prosperity and abundance. Prosperity and abundance to every person, every being, to the local, national, and world economies. Bring the sunshine into the economy. Help everyone who needs greater prosperity to access it, those who need and want a new job, may they be hired. May the work environment be more peaceful throughout the world. For we know that most businesses are understaffed right now. So may the work environment be more peaceful, more kind, more respectful, more loving, more understanding, more compassionate.
May we also bring that sense of love and compassion and wisdom into the family unit. And amongst anyone who is experiencing inner or outer conflict, may there be tremendous healing. Healing for whatever is being triggered. Healing for the deeper wounds. Healing for the past. Healing for the old traumas. May there be healing on all levels and blessings of peace and grace and kindness and respect and love. May people learn how to be neutral observers and not get so entangled in daily dramas. Help them to be neutral observers. Thank you, God, for hmm. bringing a deeper sense of personal responsibility and civic responsibility to individuals, to groups of people. Let a deeper sense of personal responsibility and civic responsibility be activated. And I want you to imagine that every person, every being is bright, like the entire planet is bright, that rays of light are emanating out of every person, every being throughout the entire planet. Let this light and love pour into the hearts, minds, bodies, and souls. And also share this light and this love with your family. So imagine your family in front of you. Your friends. Your coworkers. Your inner circle. Your community. Pour blessings. Hmm. Let me check the chat for specific requests. Prayers for Tracy Forsyth, who's in the Lehigh Valley Hospital. Uh, prayers for my clients who I'm still helping them recover from COVID. Prayers for all the medical, health care, death care workers, first responders, where they've really had to deal with a lot, bring more faith, more trust, more light. and inner strength and resiliency to them. Peace. Peace be with you all. Lots of healing, lots of love. Amen. Okay, so now go ahead and put your hands down, palms face up on your lap. Keep your arms and legs uncrossed and we'll shift into actually, I think instead of me doing an energy healing, I think we need to do 
um, a transformation summit. So let me tune into which one for the group. Give me one moment. Okay, it's gonna be a color balance. So let's do a group goal and intention. And I'm thinking a goal of uh, like something around peace and healing and safety. So if you have ideas, go ahead and put it in the chat, but we want it written in a positive present tense sentence. And then we will collectively be energizing it. Okay. So hmm, I'm thinking Okay. So here, here's what's coming to me. Me, my family, and the world is safe, healthy, and happy. Let me write that down. Me, my family, and the world are safe, healthy, and happy. How does that feel to you guys? That scans strong to me. Okay. All right. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to guide you through a process so you can go ahead and um, close your eyes. We're going to use color to repattern your subconscious mind. First, we need to find out what color we need to use to help you believe this new goal <laughs> so that you can achieve it. Now, it's okay if all of us get a different color. It's That's okay. All right. So go ahead, close your eyes and your body knows. So just what is the color that you need? Hmm. For me, I get pink, but you can, it's okay that everyone has their own color. <laughs> All right. Do you have it? Can I get, okay. So close your eyes and set your hands on your thighs with your palms facing upwards. Okay. <laughs> Um, Wendy got pink, but closed her eyes and then got green. So whatever is your color, that's totally fine. Okay. <laughs> so close your eyes, set your hands on your thighs, palms up and begin to imagine the color that you selected as a ray of light coming towards you and filling every, filling your entire being. Imagine your body is like a dry sponge and let that light completely saturate you from head to toe, from fingertip to fingertip, filling every cell, every particle of your being. Just take your time, but when you are filled up, give me a nod. Okay. Now imagine that light is still coming towards you, but you can't take it in anymore. 
because you're already saturated. So now let that light come in and expand out. You're taking it in and you're sharing it out in all directions. When you're ready, let that light expand beyond you even further. When you're ready, let that light expand beyond you even further than that. When you're ready, let the light expand beyond you endlessly. When you're ready, allow this beautiful light to fill your past. When you're ready, allow the light to fill your present. When you're ready, allow the light to fill your future.
When you're ready, interlace your fingers and set your hands on your lap and start repeating the goal statement silently. Me, my family, and the world are safe, healthy, and happy. So silently, mentally, affirm with your fingers interlaced resting on your lap. Me, my family, and the world are safe, healthy, and happy. And repeat this until I give you the next instruction. Me, my family, and the world are safe, healthy, and happy. Good. <laughs> when you're ready, you can uncross and open your eyes. Hmm. How do you feel? Hmm. So You've just created some new neural pathways to support you with our community <laughs> goal <laughs> of me, my family, and the world are safe, healthy, and happy. Let me test it. Okay. It's testing strong actually for all of us, which is good. So now a positive action that you can take to anchor it in even further is to continue with the prayers and the blessings and, um, you know, what, we, what we've been doing on these zooms Monday will be the last live, um, blessings for humanity. Um, and you know, come, you can also watch the replays. I have, uh, re some of the replays that are more recent, but all of the old ones too, on Tiffany's youtube.com. Tiffany's youtube.com will automatically direct you to my highly perceptive people Academy YouTube channel. And, um, you know, just do your best to keep being the bright, beautiful, shiny version of yourself. And you know, just as a side note, oftentimes when I do this technique that I just took you through, we pick our own individual goals, but I wanted a collective goal since, you know, for the nature of what we're trying to do today. So I hope that you enjoyed that, you know, collective energizing of this particular goal. <laughs> Let me check the chat and see. Um, there's any comments here. Relaxed and delicious. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. All right. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care.